朋友圈的坚韧，朋友圈的坚韧，朋友圈的坚韧，朋友圈的坚韧，朋友圈的坚韧，朋友圈的坚韧。That's some nice faucet water, though. Look at that. Look how, <laughs> look how that flows. Recently, somebody by the name of Sir Slider Zero Eight just released the third game of the series, Five Nights in the Void, and. I'm gonna be honest, this has to be one of my favorite series on Scratch. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest. I just really like his games. Starting from the first game, the second game. So when I heard about there's gonna be a third game, you know your boy was hyped for this. <laughs> so no doubt when I was getting into this game, I was pretty hyped. Uh, not to mention other people has, have also helped Slider in the making of this game such as Dev and Airbot and all those cool people. And there's also other people that helped in this. Uh, they were mostly just playtesters. They're going to be linked on screen right now. So I want to give a special thanks and shout out to the people that did help make this game because this game is marvelous. I really, really enjoyed this game. I have already an hour in this game. I know I'm a cool kid. I'm already like the best player here. I got all the endings. And yeah, it was it was pretty neat, but getting I'm getting off track. Anyways, just expect a really good score from from this because this might be the best uh game so far in the scratch scale. And I have really good reasons why. This game is a masterpiece. It's not extremely good, but it's better than what I've seen so far in, in the uh this year. So, anyways, I'm just gonna get into it. Already from the main menu itself, uh, it's already amazing. Actually, I'm gonna back forward a little bit. I I would like to um, um give out a little quote here that these games, all of these games from the first game to all the way to this third game, all of them needs turbo warp in order to run these. I don't know if that means anything. I don't know if that's just a waste of time or anything, but. I just thought that was pretty silly because these games, I never really see people say that they should play it on Turbo Warp. So when I saw that this has to be Turbo Warp, I was blasting in my chair. Wow, that is actually crazy. This game has to be played on Turbo Warp and it can't even run on Scratch. That's how crazy these games are. <laughs> Anyways, back to the video. Alright, so already in the main menu. Uh, that's a pretty good main menu. Uh, an easter egg you, uh, you guys could have done, I was kind of hoping you guys would do it, is that uh, in the word Brody, I, I, think that's his, I think that's his name, Brody. Sorry, I'm not really looking at the game. I know there's gameplay, but I'm just uh, talking over it so I can't really see. But in the name Brody, in the main menu, you should take out like um, the LED so it says die instead. I think that would be pretty neat. I mean, I don't know. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not the best creator, so whatever. I just thought it would be really cool. Anyways, getting off track again. We get greeted with a TV, and I think um, you play as this kid, and there's this guy named Seth, and then he pretty much takes you to the void, I think. I don't know too much of the story here. The lore here gets deep, but uh, I'm going to be honest. The lore or the main story is probably the weakest part about this game. I don't really know too much about it. Apparently, just by going from the story itself, your father died, I guess, which uh, is Seth said. And I, I already thought that was pretty cool, but when you play the rest of the game, that just gets dropped instantly. He never gets mentioned ever again. And um, it's, I mean, it's whatever. But the visuals here are amazing. I really like the visuals. I mean, whoever did the visuals did a really good job at them. So, um, good job. I think it was Dev that made them. I'm not really sure. But whoever made them, really good job. It, it looks marvelous. Like, it actually looks pretty cool. Especially the cams. I like how the cams, they made them black and white. Normally, when you go into a normal game, they're... They're, they're colored, which is fine, but here is a little different. So I really like that. The characters, 
absolutely amazing. And I don't know who plays the phone guy because uh, it says here that his brother plays phone guy, but then it says that Airbot plays the tapes. So I'm really confused. I don't know. I don't know what I'm listening to. Am I listening to the phone guy or am I listening to the tapes? Like I I'm a little confused about about that one. But whoever whoever was talking in that moment and like in the office high five man you did a good job like honestly like i don't know explain it the whole point was to be bored and i don't know they, they, they just they just did good on that i don't know what to say hello new employee welcome to your new job at brody's beaver tales in my 23rd take of this recording this is the most magical amazing fantastical is that even a word diner I'm so sorry I have to say this or they'll fire me. <sighs> Welcome to Brody's, the best diner. Welcome to Brody's, where, pro where proper work attire, no breaks longer than five minutes, we'll fire you just like that. Don't touch the animatronics, the customer is always right, do anything out of line, we'll fire you just like that. Okay. Anyway, time for a rundown. And so... Yeah, good job. But um again, another thing that I would like to mention that uh he does say that his boss viewed the tapes that he sent, but then the tapes is just him trash talking to the about the establishment. Anyway, time for a rundown. So it's kind of weird how his boss thinks, oh wait. He's trash trashing. He's, he's talking trash about my company, but I mean, hey, I mean, I don't care. <laughs> like, it just never gets mentioned. Like, I, I thought it would be funny if it did. But uh, anyways, I'm going to get back to the, to the visuals. The visuals here look absolutely stunning. They're the best I've seen so far in any Scratch game. Well, or at least in the Scratch scale, okay? So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to go a little overboard. But yeah it's it's really good i like what they did with it and the gameplay the gameplay too the gameplay is also really nice um apparently there's like these vents and that you have to close there's a the, the front vent is so goddamn annoying it, it just it just won't goddamn close like jesus christ when i first saw it it said the pole so i was just there pulling on the on the goddamn thing and the thing will just won't go down like you might see a clip right now it's like it just it just wouldn't close like god damn it just close already <laughs> like it's it's just so frustrating because then you there's like this foxy like animatronic coming at you and then you're, you're just panicking trying to close the vent and you can't close the vent because god damn it it's just so weird at first but jesus christ that was a little bit horrifying and jesus like i don't, I, don't, I can't tell you how many times i almost died because i couldn't close the vents like it, trust me if you're panicking the last thing you want to do is drag your mouse so fast to the point where you can't physically or mentally even move the vents at all which uh, by the way there's also two other vents on your left and on your right and apparently you have to press on the little gear on the top left so you can close them the cams sometimes go off so you got to reboot them um and there's also another uh panel which you can pull up and then you can reboot the toxicity toxicity i can't talk okay I like to mention I'm recording this in the middle of the night, so I can't really talk right now, and I feel out of breath right now. So everything I'm saying is probably gonna be faster than the speed of light. But there's like this toxic bar apparently that if it goes critical, you'll be seeing things like if you're on or something. And then there's like this uh I forgot what it's called. I think it's like a temperature thingy or like an air conditioner that you also have to keep track of. So all of those are cool um the gameplay the gameplay is really good but i feel like it's too easy like i do i did die this game like the entire time i was playing this game i only died 
like twice and that was only because i didn't really know the mechanics but if i were to go in and know fully what i'm doing i would have just aced that game easily like i don't know i feel like they made it too easy especially for night four and five they just they just felt like a breeze i mean i don't know i don't i don't know if that's the slayer just making it easier on purpose or i don't know but i did hear that they did nerf it a bit because it was hard or at least i think so i don't know i don't know Pe people people have been telling me to play this game for ages now and uh, I, I have no i have no excuse on why i'm uh i haven't been uploading Okay, there's there's definitely no reason why I haven't been uploading. Okay, you don't you don't need to you don't have to worry about that one. But anyways, um, I think that's pretty much it for the gameplay. I can't remember anything else, but um, they're they're just simple mechanics. I really like them. God damn it, that vent, dude. I, I just I just can't get over that damn vent. The vent that vent is just so goddamn annoying. I hate it. I just goddamn hate it. And going into the audio quality, the audio oh the audio like in the gameplay is good, but whenever it's the kid, they, they didn't even give a name to the kid, they just call him the kid. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. And Seth, their conversation is, it's a, it's a little weird, doesn't really feel like a conversation from time to time. Like, Seth would be like, yeah, there's like killer robots here. And then the kid is like, oh, okay, well, goddamn, <laughs> there's killer robots here. And then, wow, is there any more of these? And Seth would be like, yeah, there is. All right, good luck. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Don't worry, you'll be completely fine. Uh, you're learning from a master, so, yeah. I learned all these snap skills from a small YouTuber called Markiplier. Oh god, now I sound old. Anyway, here's the animatronic. Oh god, I'm gonna puke. Don't worry, you'll only become violent when you use the crank on him. Right, the crank. If you look behind you, uh, you'll see some sort of charging station. Uh, just turn the valve to charge what I call the void crank. Woo! Uh, once it's charged, you should be able to use it on the animatronic. Um, I think using the crank on him three times should do the trick. But for tonight, you should only need to do it once. So yeah, just turn the valve and it should charge. So am I safe in this completely dark room with a seven foot tall death robot in front of me? Maybe yes. If something does try to eat your face, just just shine the light on their face and they should go away. Um, yeah, you can do this. I never ask what your name is. Seth. Like, it just doesn't feel human, kinda. It, it just it just feels really weird. Like, th there was also another thing that I, I, I just found a little annoying. Like, Seth would just be eating chips, by the way, the chips were god damn atrocious i didn't really like it no you can oh it's me again thank you oh shit so you are in front of me you can do it you know you have to do it you know i did this so if you don't play it you don't have to it didn't even sound like he was eating ch chips it sounds like his mic was just glitching right then and there you don't play it you don't have to and it, it just felt weird. Oh yeah, look, there's a bunch of killer animatronics. Anyways, I'm gonna be eat I'm gonna be eating my chips as you have a literal killing machine right in front of you. Like I don't know. I feel like it's supposed to take a serious tone, but then in the very beginning of the game, it does take a serious tone. So I'm really confused about it. Also, I, I really like how they put they shift that Kerbo like the little face at the end. That is my favorite part. I cherish that. It's <laughs> because, dude, Dice Through the Curls was a good game. But, yeah, anyways, back to the audio quality. It is good, but I don't know. 
it does it does have have its time where it's just it's just a little weird. It's, it's just a little weird sometimes. It's not comp it's not bad. You know, I'm glad they added voice acting. It made the game a lot better. It's it's just it's just a little weird. It's just a little weird. But um, yeah. Anyways, actually forgot about there's the there's a maintenance mode apparently which uh the animatronics come in and this is the guy that we're talking about uh for the audio the animatronics come in and then they will sit there and then you have to turn this wheel like like once or three times and then you gotta shock them but then there's like another animatronic that's like hiding in the shadows and you gotta go and find them i did find a glitch yes yes that is right ladies and gentlemen i found a glitch in this game 100 percent and what was it um apparently if you shine your light in one of the animatronics at the i think my editor has it covered because it just happened um apparently when you shine your light at them there's times where it doesn't really work and you sort of just die like what just happened like i don't know if that's a bug or maybe i waited too long or what but um this is like the second time it happened so far and uh, it's just really weird i don't know if that's how it's supposed to work but hey whatever so anyways i did ramble a lot about this game so i'm trying to get better and better at making scratch scale this is like the third or fourth episode of the scratch scale which by the way we're almost at 8,000 by the time this is uploaded I'm gonna be already at 8,000 subscribers and if it's not That's a that's a it's a little awkward, but I'm gonna say it right now. Thank you guys so much for 8,000 subscribers. We're getting close to that 10,000 subscriber milestone. So yeah, I'm getting Really really excited about that Like really really excited Anyways, uh, I'm gonna put this on the meter or on the scale so I know you guys have been waiting about 14 minutes for that. I'm going to give this game um, 35 points. This game uh, um, 35 points, which is an S tier game. So a really good job to everybody. Uh, Sir Slider 8 Dev of Power, Airbot TV, or Airbot Gamer TV, um, IDK185, which by the way, that's my editor. So if you guys can subscribe to him. Okay, he, he works hard on these videos, okay? Jeez. Um, Splino S, Bizarre PRSN, The Man, and I think that's about it. So, yeah, as you can see, a lot of people have participated in this game. And also, Search Lighter, if you can, man, if you can, make hire me to make, to be in one of these games. Because I did really, I did enjoy them. They were pretty good games. And I can't wait to see what you do what you do next. And I heard that you already made a teaser for Day Shift at Kerbos too, so I'm already, I'm already looking forward to that. I'm gonna see I can get other creators other than Sir Slider08 and Dev of Power because they're like the only people so far that I know that are really active in this stuff. So uh yeah. Um there's really nothing else to say here, so I did say a special thanks to everybody that's been wanting me to um, rate this game. I know a lot of people have been waiting, okay? It's been like a week or two since this game came out, and for some reason I haven't reviewed it yet. So, here it is. Anyways, uh, I would like to thank everybody for watching, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send uh, the previous episode of this. Check it out. It's really cool. That's some nice faucet water though, look at that. Look how, <laughs> look how that flows. Faucet water.